Well, in an effort to contain the coronavirus, local health departments across the state have started doing what's called contact tracing. Contact tracing is a tool health officials use to track down people who have been exposed to the virus and give appropriate recommendations. LEX 18's Kristen Edwards explains how it works in the big story at 530. Contact tracing has been around for decades and now it's being used to fight COVID-19. The way I like to think about it is it's a tool that's available to me to help me keep uh, from infecting uh, my wife, my kids, my grandkids. In a Zoom meeting this afternoon, Mark Carter with the Cabinet for Health and Family Services said tracing starts with a disease investigator who will call someone who has tested positive for COVID-19. Then a contact tracer would call those people who have been exposed. You can expect tracers to ask for basic information like your name, address and birthday, but they will not ask for a social security number, bank account number or any other financial information. Anything like that, that a person hears on a call, uh, they need to hang up right away and call the attorney general's fraud hotline. Carter says the Federal CARES Act has given the state between 76 and 78 million dollars for the contact tracing initiative. Some of that money has gone to hiring more tracers. Before the pandemic, the state had 430. Now, Carter says we're up to 640, and we could get up to more than 1,100 if need be. It's all in an effort to contain the virus, to keep Kentuckians safe and the Commonwealth open. Kristen Edwards, LAX 18 News. Tracers will give people who have been exposed recommendations ranging from self quarantine to being on the lookout for symptoms. For more on how those decisions are made, head to our website, lex18.com.